With Secrets Animations you can build animations which are more complex and have different varieties. And we want to build today an animation here like you can see from the scribble design. And basically here in the beginning if someone press on a card then it is going here around with the rotation and that's what we want to build. To show you exactly what I mean with what we will build, I have also made it in slow-mo. And like you can see, we have here first of all the scale factor, so it's scaling its size down. And then it's going here to the rotation. And after we have finished the rotation, then it is a bouncing effect. And we want to build this whole animation with a package which is called sequence animation. And this is the package we want to use, Flutter Secrets Animation. And with this one you can basically create really complex animations. So let's get started. I have already created here this app. And like you can see I have here an image of a credit card. And the first thing I like to do here in our build card method where we have here this image of our card. So like you can see in this example video the images of our card is in this position so we need to rotate it and therefore I put it here into a transform widget and then we have here this transform property where we call the matrix identity and on this matrix identity we call the rotate set to rotate our cart and there in by default it's zero and then you can change here different variables and then if you for example set it to minus pi divided by 2 then it's going here up and you also have to set here this other field alignment to center because otherwise it's not rotating here in the center and this is our start with which we want to animate our sequence animation the next step is to create an animation controller to do the animation then we have here our init state and inside we create our controller and we also need to provide here our provider state mixin which we need to put into our state class like you can see here and that's it for the controller and with our controller we can then handle our animation so right now this handle animation is every time if we click here on this image it will be called this handle animation and here inside we basically want to do two things so if the animation is not yet started we want to start it with forward and if it's completed and we click on the card then it should reset and it will go to the initial state. For the next step we need to have the sequence animation so make sure you put here this flutter sequence animation dependency inside of your pubspec.jml file. Next to our animation controller we put the sequence animation variable and then we initialize it here in our init state method with this sequence animation builder and after it we call our animate method and put here our controller inside and now we can start with the real animation so every time for every animation we put here this method add animatable and the first thing what we want to do so let's watch the video again because i think you forgot it already so the first thing we do here like you can see is the scaling then the rotation and in the end this bouncing effect. So first of all I put here the tag scale and make sure that this is a unique tag which you put here inside. Then we have an animatable and then we put here a tree inside for our animation. So it says that in the beginning we have a scale of 1 so it is the full size and if you put here a 0 inside then it means that it has 0 size anymore so it scales down to 0 size. And that's not what we want to do so I change it here to the half size almost and then we can add here duration so we can add a from and to tag and like you can see in the first two seconds it should then do the scale animation and the next thing what we need to do is to go to our cart and then we put it here into a scale transition inside and with the scale transition we have here a field which is called scale and here we want to put our sequence animation inside so this is this field which we have created here in the beginning and then we need to put our tag inside which we have defined here so I will put here this tag inside and now we can basically try this out so I press here on hot restart and I click then here on this card and then you see it is scaling down like here and if you press again it's resetting and this is the first step what we want to do and now we can quickly go further. So we add here another one with rotation and we give it here the tag 
Then we also want to rotate here. So I add here this screen and this time we want to do shift by 90 degrees. So I put here 90 divided by 360 degrees inside. And then we also want to do the animation and we do it shortly before we end with the scale animation. So we have this cool effect of scaling and then also rotating. And the next step is then to put here in our build card this rotation transition widget inside and it's exactly the same thing only we change here the tag because we have here this rotation tag and I think it's always the same so it's pretty easy to use this sequence animation builder. And now let's try it out again this step so if I press here on this card then it's scaling down and it's rotating and I think this looks pretty cool. And the last step is also to get this bouncing effect. And what we do therefore is the same thing. So we add here our animating and this time we give it a tag of bouncing. Then we also start here with 0 0.9 to 1. So we go a little bit down in the scaling and then up again. And then we also want to add this curve here elastic out. So this gives our cool feeling that it is uh, bouncing in and out. And then we also want to do here some timing. So after this animation of scale and rotation ended after two seconds, then we want to start this bouncing. And the last step is to put here our build card into the scale transition. We put here again the bouncing tag inside like we have put here inside and that's it what we need to do so I can hot restart and now you see that we have here this card widget and if I press here on it then you would see the whole animation and now in the end the bouncing effect like you can see. And to make everything more simple for you in the source code I also will add here a multiplier. And now I have added here this multiplier to every duration and have divided them by 10 and have them put here inside this 10. So now we can change here and can speed it a little bit up. And you can also try it out if you download the source code so you can play around with different parameters and see exactly how this animation works. And now if I take for example the half time then this animation will be much much faster. So now it's scaling and again rotating and this is pretty cool I guess. And like you can see with the sequence animation builder you can build really complex animation and it's pretty simple. So I think from now on animation is a really easy topic for all of you. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!